SMT Nation, we are back and we are filming. Uh, we're going to do a quick little speed test sesh with you guys. And you know what? Let me just zoom out a little bit here. That'll make it easier. Uh, let's go ahead and test the AT&T network on the Samsung Galaxy S24. We just got it. We put the AT&T eSIM to it, and now we're testing it. All right, folks. So this, uh, this testing is around noon. What time is it? It doesn't show it. It's like 11.45 in the morning. And uh, not a lot of, you know, it's not going to be heavy usage, you know what I mean? But um, decent time to test, you know, afternoon and early evenings and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, we're testing. And let's take a look at the bands we're connected to for AT&T. We got 10 megahertz of band 66. We have N77, 80 megahertz, that's the C band. And then 40 megahertz, that's the DoD. There's 10 megahertz of band 14, 15 megahertz of band 2. Uh, we got a lot of spectrum now, don't we? All right, so with that, you get a lot of speed. Okay, so uh, we got like 579 for the downlink. And we got about 9.86 on the uplink. 43 ping, 16 jitter, loaded latencies in the 600s and the milliseconds. All right, so the reason why I wanted to share this with you guys is because I've tested in this location on iPhones and previous model galaxies. And... I never got this type of throughput in this location, so to me, this tells me that we have a substantial upgrade in RF performance out of the Samsung Galaxy S24 RF system. So the modem, the antennas, put it all together to have an improved experience over the devices I've been using. Uh, notably better than the iPhone, for sure, and a lot better than the S22. A lot can change in a couple of years, right guys? So you're getting that improved RF system. Uh, which would be what the X75 modem, I believe, is the, the name of the model. And the antenna array and everything is performing great. This is mid-band 5G along with the LT, so the NSA 5G setup. And it's been really good. This is my initial testing first video, uh, 633 down and 11 up. But, I mean, I, I can show you guys, like, my, uh, you go to the report segment on the Ookla speed test and you can see, you know, all the testing. And it's it's been like this, but and even better in some instances. Uh, typically, my average uplink for AT&T on this phone, I'm seeing uh, anywhere between like 20 and 50 megabits per second for uplink. And then for downlink, I'm averaging anywhere between like 250 and 950, right? I see a hell of a, a good range. I am seeing some occasional 1 plus megabit per second, well, 1,000 plus megabit per second for AT&T. Uh, it's, not, it's not really common, but uh, I do see it from time to time. There's some really well-optimized sites with low usage. Uh, but yeah, I, I do see that from time to time. 606 down, 12.8 up. Guys, I will tell you, uh, just based on my initial testing, this phone is fantastic. It really is a cellular beast. Uh, the display, by the way, phenomenal. I haven't done much with the video recording. I've done a couple of shorter videos with it, and it's performing pretty good. I haven't done photography, so I have more to do. But this thing is definitely a go. If you need to be on the cutting edge of cellular RF performance, this is the this is the move. Uh, it is definitely better than my iPhone 14 Pro Max. I do have to get an iPhone 15 Gen phone, and then we can kind of pin them up against each other. So I still reserve that final judgment, but man, this has been uh, pretty nice. It even worked in the gym, actually. Uh, before it was like kind of touch and go with N77 on C-band uh, DOD combo for AT&T, uh, but but now it's picking it up consistently. It's steady. It holds and it performs really well. It's almost 300 megabits in there. Uh, <laughs> mind you, T-Mobile only gets 5 megahertz of band 12 in there. And Verizon only gets like band 13 or band 5 in there. So low band only for the other carriers. So I'm guessing the AT&T site is pretty close uh, or just the sector is just pointing right at the, the gym. But anyways, 595 down, 12 up. That's the initial testing. If you guys have this phone, how's it been for you? Which carrier are you using? You know, what's it been like for you? It's been great for me. I'm really tempted to make this my main driver, guys. <laughs> I really am. It's been so enjoyable. I might just do it. Um, I don't know, man. Getting out of the Pixel 7 Pro. I've been daily driving the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I might just do it. I might just do it. And then buy the uh, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra for the test and get all my eSIMs on there. Uh, but first, first speed testing video for AT&T on the S24, people. Uh, your thoughts and opinions welcome down below your commentary love to hear your experiences and what you guys think of this testing 
624 down 13 up. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more if you want to see more content like this. Uh, we shall see you all in the next one. Peace.